I'm Melanie Bellatrudy. My son was Joshua. Uh, my son was diagnosed at 26 months. His uh, symptoms were very sudden onset, uh, and he was diagnosed with a stage four malignant brain tumor and spine cancer. So um, he was in the hospital for about three and a half weeks. He injured four brain surgeries inside of uh, one week. Uh, and three days into chemotherapy, his cancer grew again. And at that point, they told us that there was nothing more they could do. And we brought him home and he passed away four weeks later. He was a really happy, energetic little boy. He was very affectionate. He was a very compassionate child. He was among the favorites at his daycare. And, and I just heard tonight some of the children still talk about him. And he loved Thomas the Tank Engine more than anything in his life. His entire room, the plates and, and cups he ate out of had to be Thomas. And it was always on TV. So. He was the type of child that even though he had a limited vocabulary, he was the type that would say, bless you, mommy, or I'm sorry, mommy, you okay? That kind of thing. And, and so he just had so much heart. Well, my daughter used to work here at Shoeless Joe's when they first opened, and um, through Sherry and my daughter, when my son was diagnosed with uh, CML, leukemia, um, we decided to, with Sherry and uh, this wonderful establishment, to put on a fundraiser. Um, unfortunately, um, Gregory, only from diagnosis to passing away, was only five months. continue to do fundraising here and um, it's just sort of taken off for many people in this town whose children and there's a lot <laughs> um, that have succumbed or are battling or have are in remission from this, this. Gregory <laughs> lived very vicariously in his short 17 years almost as if he Somewhere there, oh yes, he was uh, very much a lively boy. <laughs> Loved to skateboard, ride his bicycle, um, go to school and sometimes not go to school, which I couldn't understand in, in hindsight when you think back. You know, he was a very old 17 year old and I think that's somehow he knew what was happening. <laughs>